تو بھی زوری تو پادوز دے بیس نوچی It was once said, it's not the destination, but the journey. Those words now having great meaning for Katerina Pyro, whose unexpected journey began less than a year ago. The one moment that's boom and <sighs> Those booms coming from Russian bombers attacking her beloved Ukrainian homeland. I don't know why it happened. It was, you know, it just was a wonderful life. And I had maybe the best life of, of the world. That life centered around Dnipro, a city about the size of San Francisco. The 26-year-old was raising her two small children, surrounded by friends and family. I had a job, I had my place, my car, my happy parents. In late February, Russia launched an all-out attack. For Ukrainians, there was so much uncertainty. I don't know, it's so hard. It's, it's really hard. Like so many of Pyro's neighbors, she pitched in to help those fighting on the front lines. And like so many, as things got worse, she too thought it was time to leave. I need to, to do this for my kids. They need to be in good atmosphere and clean sky, no bomb, no just safety. Days later, she packed up as much as she could, said goodbye to her loved ones, began that life-changing journey. It's 11 p.m. and I just drive, bomb fell, road is disgusting. I just was two kids on a car, 600 miles from Poland. Mom and daughters were there for several weeks, so far from their destination. It's plane? <laughs> yes, airplane. <laughs> yeah, we sit on a plane on 16 April, yeah. Poland, Netherlands. Amsterdam, Amsterdam, uh, Netherlands, bzz, Bogota, Colombia, Bogota, Colombia, Cancun, Mexico, Mexico City, Mexico City, Guadalajara, Guadalajara, Tijuana. <laughs> And like so many Ukrainians, she waited at the border for her chance to get to her destination, the United States. Back in April, KCRA 3 was at the border, filming our documentary, Seeking Refuge, when we met Pyro for the first time. How do you feel right now? Like, I'm, so I'm so happy. <laughs> Arina, you're happy? Are you happy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Distant relatives were now just hours away. They scooped up Pyro and the girls and headed to Northern California. Oh, you will live with Jennifer. I ask, who is Jennifer? <laughs> I don't know, who is Jennifer? <laughs> oh, you will see. You will live with Jennifer, it's a good American woman. <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> Borsch, first time, and I'm thinking, Oh my God, this would be a parent's nightmare to know that their child was going through these things. Jennifer is Jennifer Scalzi, who knew there was a need to help those who needed it most, families like Pyros. I remember opening the door and being quite surprised to see a six-year-old and a nine-year-old and this very young mother. And I, I remember that she just kind of fell into my arms. And I remember that hug. And I, I knew, I knew that I did the right thing. I knew that she was going to be staying along in six weeks, too. It was like instant love. Pyro is one of 113,000 Ukrainians to come to the United States since the war began. More than 20,000 of them have settled in Sacramento. And potato, cabbage, uh, carrots, onion, and you know, it's just big secret, it's Ukrainian. Months later, <laughs> Pyro is still adjusting I to her new see. life. In my head, all time, uh, USA was, looks like Hollywood movie. <laughs> You know, 
And when I came here, it's, oh my God, it's USA. And adjusting to life in her new apartment. In what she hopes will be her new home and an end to her journey. So easier for me now and, you know, just all time, all my life, I, I just want to live here. So dreams come true. <laughs> For photojournalist Victor Nieto, Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News.